everybody, welcome to episode 9 of the Maya Crash Course and today we're going to be looking at creating layers. So, right here I've got an intervention model that I created um, and we're going to s start separating uh, the gun from the base to the extras such as the scope and the bipods etc. So first of all what I want to do is I want to select, obviously it's all in one group here, um, what I want to do is select all the extras that I want and this is going to be purely for my UVs, um, for my two UV groups. Now unfortunately I haven't got the UV one on this, this is the old one, but that's fine. Um, let's just say the scope, well actually we can do all, all of this, so click and drag that. Um, we can get this, probably this bit as well, yeah, uh, the trigger, uh, the bipod as I've mentioned, uh, uh, I think the maybe the handle, and then we can probably put some little bits like the pin here. Let's see if there's anything else. So we'll use that as an example. It's not going to be, you know, solidified. It's not going to be certain. So now I've got these selected. If I could just group them again. So Control G and just lift that up to the top. And I'm lifting that up to the top by holding the middle mouse button. So I've got, say, actually, let's drag it out. So I've got extras and I've got the base. Okay, so now we've got two folders. Instead of hi hiding the folders, what we can do is we can actually add them to a layer down here. And what that will allow us to do is quickly hide them on and off. You don't have to keep going into the outliner. So, say I want to hide the extras. Um, I've already grouped them, that's fine. Grab the group, um, click this button here, or you can right click, uh, add selected objects. I've already got a layer here. Oh, that's my reference images, so that's another use for it. Um, it's a nice easy turn off so what I'll we'll do is click this button here and then that will create a new layer layer 2 and with those selected it would have automatically programmed that in so if I now check that V off for visible there we go that disappears okay and what you can also do with this layer is if you use this blank box here click it twice to R I'm attempting to click on this now and I can't so I've completely locked it off so that can stay in the Maya scene you know, without it being affected. So that's useful to know as well. So I hope this helped, guys, and see you in the next tutorial.